Sorry, my name is Uwe Balogun, your one and only Bine princess. Now, today on top of the show, um, today, generally, they celebrate World Food Day. And this one, they actually bring a lot of questions for Isai Wobodo, Nigeria. Agriculture, when we go actually um, produce enough for Nigerians to consume. Now, we know, say, we, now we be the largest for Africa, Nigeria, we the largest producer of cassava, and still the largest importer of rice. But we know, say, the, the closure of the border don't actually make um, importing rice very, very hard. Because according by federal government, they want to concentrate on producing enough um, for Niger people. <clears throat> now, we know, say, for inside Lagos, <clears throat> the lake rice, now something where they actually um, bring into limelight. And by another year of the lake rice, and um, in circulation for a very long time. Speaking of lake but rice, when I, be do, when I be doing a very little survey, I do a very little investigative survey, when I go ask people where they sell the rice, yeah. then come, some people, they come outside, they complain about the quality, quality. of mm -hmm. lake rice. In fact, they come outside, they talk, say some other brands or some other locally produced rice They're very okay. are better mm -hmm. than that. That's not just a little review because I go just sure. a small community. I don't go random. I don't go a larger community to go ask mm -hmm. questions. But I ask at random because I want to know, knowing how these buyers, this is where they sell, this rice, how did they even take survive? Now they come outside talk, say problem, no day on top buying the locally produced rice. They say that they even find locally produced rice to buy. Mm. Because as it is now, one woman show me a shop, she says, see, these four bags of rice are the last rice where I get to sell. He said, and I get for keep for my family. He said, even the locally produced one, then they find them. She says she get money to buy the rice, keep for shop, maybe we'll come buy. But where the rice day? Now the question where should they come outside the axe? All right, is the year and why some people they actually complain, say we are the rice day, we are the good, uh, the food day for inside Wobodo, Nigeria. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, don't they for inside the news, in name Nasabo and uh, Namnono. And I don't come outside talk, say Nigeria they produce enough to feed itself. Contrary to the narrative where we get for inside Wobodo, Nigeria, say hunger day for inside the land. Now in be talk this one <clears throat> for a news conference um, just on Monday. October 14th for inside Abuja to mark the 2019 World Food Day where we know say we celebrate internationally. Now he talks say they're very wrong for us to promote the idea. Say hunger day for inside Nigeria. Now he call ad say there were only inconveniences being addressed by the federal government and relevant stakeholders like the Food and Agricultural Organization. Now, in his own words, quote unquote, he said, from what I they see for inside this conference, now sign. There, now, there is, from what I see from inside this conference room, there is no sign of hunger, but now obesity. Now, I mean, say, when you're when you don't chop too much, your belly go the big. He said, now in the sea. He said, only a few people like me are either trying to balance their diets, or is it fasting that is responsible for the way we some people they look? He said, the policy of the present government for us to feed ourselves is they very, very important. In the process, value chains are being created to empower people and give out some jobs. I think, say, we they produce enough now to feed ourselves. And I think, say, there is no hunger. But if you say inconveniences, I will actually agree with you. A lot of people don't come outside, criticize this particular talk, say, why you go come outside, talk, say, no hunger in the land? When people, they actually find them very hard to feed. Now, still in the celebration of World Food Day, and the Lagos State Government, Dr. Masai, tell farmers, say me they not relent to in their effort at food uh, sufficiency um, for the nation's teeming populace. Now, Prince um, Bolabo, uh, Bo, um, Bolabo um, Lawa, away with the Commissioner for Agriculture, he talked this one just yesterday for inside Lagos, why he be the com um, commemorate the um, World Food Day. Now, the government be actually host farmers to an interactive section on issues where they affect them and their production. Now, he actually come outside, urge the farmers, say me they secure the, food, the future by making nutritious farm produce available to the people. Now, looking at these two different scenarios, the Minister of Agriculture coming out to talk, say there is no food in Nigeria, say no hunger for Nigeria, say food day bracket, say we get enough of what they produce. Now, the Lagos State government, the come outside, they urge farmers, say we could not relent to you in producing better, better food for Niger people. Why the farmers in, the, in their own way, they come outside talk, say, it did very hard for us. Security of our farmland, now one of our major problems. Access to credit, now one of our major problems. Access to mechanized farming, now one of our major problems too. Also, fertilizers, now one of our major problems. Even with this rainy season, now a lot of farmlands have been swept away. 
So you see, say a lot of farmers too, they come outside, they complain. Why will they talk, say farmers, be they not relent? And why the federal government, they come outside, talk, say there is no hunger in the land? Too many, too many stories concerning this. Exactly. And um, people, they come outside, they, they talk, say this um, disparity, you know what I mean? Say, yeah, we hear from here, we hear from here. Come be like, listening at two different sides or two different stories we they hear. Um, at this point in time, if you walk out on top of the streets, if you go on top of the street and ask 10 random people, exactly. what would the answer be? Because mm -hmm. you, you go to talk, um, yeah, let's not forget, you're high up there. You're there on top of the horse. So if they talk from that, that perspective, from that level, people waiting for the bottom part of the port, how it take affect them? If they trickle down to them in particular, because if you go on top of the streets of Lagos today, you ask people today the question, you go hear what people go talk, a lot of them will not be happy. Or they, or will I say the responses you get from a lot of them are not affirmative responses. Mm -hmm. A lot of them go, they complain <coughs> for things we're supposed to be. They, if you go market now, or with that um, locally produced rice now, so don't they enter Christmas, it is going up mm -hmm. because it is becoming scarce. Inflation don't they enter inside them. In fact, one of the papers just last week will be the say a bag of rice is supposed to go for 10, 7 to 10,000 naira can go as high as 25 to 30,000 naira before the end of the year. Mm. Now, this is a projection where people they come outside talk. Inflation don't they enter inside them. Exactly. And now, you don't talk inflation. Maybe we not even go too far. Now, even looking at the um, 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 poverty rating, they talk, say, even Nigeria get over 100 million people where they actually live in hunger. Now, if they, we get this high, high number of people where they live in poverty, how you go come, come as I talk, say, hunger not there for the land? And also, how can we empower farmers to produce enough for Nigeria people? Like you talk, you be interviewed person, and you realize, say, even the locally produced rice is not there available for a lot of people where they sell for markets. Now, just some of the few facts about this hunger for inside the country. They talk, say, one-third of the children um, under five years of age are stunted. That would mean, say, they know they even see better food to even chop. Now, according to another fact, when they come outside talk, then talk, say, any um, most, ha uh, most um, houses or most homes where the breadwinner, na female, especially the low-income low earning homes, they say that um, particular home is running at a higher risk, risk of um, insufficient food because of why? Because of the instability. Now they talk say the insurgency for inside the country, it don't lead to a large number of displaced people without access to food, which mm. is very true. We don't hear them on top of the show when people where where, where you go go some supermarket or some stores, then see milk where they write IDP not for sale, but it's been sold there. I so and with the hear of our officials, they <laughs> gather these things, this resource that they keep for these internally displaced people, they, they keep out for themselves. I know so many people put a question out there. Now what food day? Now make you speak with us this morning. We'd always like to hear from you. Send us message message on top of our WhatsApp machine zero zero nine zero three two one four five two. What do you think about the statement with the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development Dr. Masai talk? Say on no day the land. And also looking at some of the locally produced food where they make you feel say they enough for Niger people over 200 million people you feel say they enough for us talk to us this morning now waiting with they ask you all right and don't forget just send your messages and your location with your name no need to actually call the whatsapp number and for example about the Obono Nigeria put the comment side talk say we don't get enough food to actually cater for the number of um, population where we actually get and this one they even make the minister of agriculture come outside talk say um, this hunger, what would they talk, say, they land. Say, not really they, Nigeria. Say, Nigeria people are not hungry at all. He said, because if we they hungry, why be say for this conference, we get a lot of people where we get big belly. He said, uh, we get enough uh, food for Nigeria people. And still, the Lagos State government, they come outside and tell farmers, say, me, they not relent. Why farmers, on the other hand, they come outside and cry, say, too many things, they affect us. And we're asking you this morning, what do you think about the statement? Is not true, say, hunger, not there for the land? And I truly say we get enough produce for entire Obodo Nigeria to cater for many Nigerians. Um, talk to us this morning, 0090321452. We get some messages to Oh, read. yes, we get some messages um, right now on top of WhatsApp machine. Might just read one or two of the messages. All right, um, you, the comments, so you talk to so your name now. Um, Oyenye from Abaradija. You say, looking at the rate at which local rice is scarce now, I think the federal government made an open border for rice to come in for the Christmas period because nobody go fit afford local bag of rice where they between the price of 25,000 to 30,000 naira. We also get um, Kenneth from Lagos. He talks to the Minister of, uh, Minister of Agriculture. He don't know what they shell for inside Nigeria. Ever since he entered an office, which rural community he don't visit. He say, on guard this country and even the agricultural produce, it's not enough to feed only Lagos. Just one more message is one more message 
Well, I'll go read this morning. Um, all right, you talk to your name now, Daniel Esther from Ikorodu. You come outside talk to now with great pre ple pleasure. Say Nigeria, they contribute to the world economy. But the problem with my country now, hunger. We talk so they produce rice. Yes, we see they see hunger. The rest of the day they produce now of low quality. That's now why rice, they see they import them and they see they say. Because if now good quality, eh, if we see they sell for my country. He said the state of affairs for the northern part of Nigeria don't contribute to the problem. What we need from government are to provide more effort to farmers um, with things like good tools, fertilizer, good mechanization of farming. He said from there we fit to see new growth. Because if money no day, land no day, amenities no day, all this one eh, fit to discourage farmers. He said make government look deep into these things to find a better production outcome and to get rid of poverty. Mm. Thank you so much. All right, still keep your messages. They come. We go actually read them before we end the show for today. Now, looking at our stop story this morning, we're concerned the World Food Day. And um, the fact that our borders, they closed. And um, this one uh, for importation of food, especially food, food items, to enter the country. Now, we'll get a lot of messages on top of WhatsApp. Now, on top of WhatsApp, I get um, Emmanuel from Joss. You say, if you like, say this government, na yao. ID card, na yao. Agriculture minister, na yao. Well, now, which they talk Emmanuel all the way from <coughs> Joss this morning. Um, all right, we get um, another comment for you. You say, thanks for bringing this Obonga matter out. You know what will be our problem for this country? We want the good life, but we don't want the patience for them to happen. He said, all we want is a miracle. Thank you very much for that um, message. Now, Yusef, you say your name is Mary from Ikorodu. You say, even if they don't want to open the border, make it be certain that they produce for Nigeria now better quality. Because the Nigerian rice, where I don't buy it two times, you say it's no good at all at all to your taste. And uh, as compared to the previous rice, where you did buy it before they close down border. Thank you very much. And the very last one I get this morning. You said this government, oh, they don't know what they happen for house. Bag of rice for Nigeria, where did they produce for one month? You know, say for Lagos State, that same bag of rice, it'd be like say that they consume about um, 680 bags of rice daily. I see you, they come outside, they talk. Thank you so much for your comment. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.